Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today I'm going to show you how to reverse sear a beautiful bone-in ribeye steak on a cast iron skillet. So stay tuned. So I've been watching all these videos on reverse searing a steak and here's our uh, specimen for tonight. I thought it looked pretty awesome. It was actually on sale. Uh, it was only like eight bucks, which if you guys have observed the price of beef these, these days and think it's friggin' outrageous, leave a comment right down in the comment section below. Um, I don't know, just gone crazy. But anyway, I... If you go back and check out some of our older videos and subscribe to the channel right now and then go to that channel page you'll look back and we actually compared the taste difference between a steak done on cast iron and one done on the grill and you'll be very surprised at the results at, at the taste test on those two different steaks so again check out the channel page I'm gonna leave you the link right below and I'll try to dig that uh, link for that video up. We did it quite a while ago. I'll try to leave that in the description box below also. So, and please help support everybody, all of our sponsors that are down there in the description page. We appreciate everybody who helps out the channel here and supports the cause because, you know, it does cost a little money to make these videos for you. So, every little bit helps. So, the cast iron skillet we've chosen for today's project is the Stargazer 10 and a half inch cast iron skillet. I'm gonna leave you a link in the description box where you can go check these out. Uh, if you purchase one, we'll uh, get a little commission off of it. And every, like I said before, every, every little bit helps. Uh, these are new skillets that are made to emulate the old ones like all these we have hanging on the wall back here. I actually got a, a mother load I gotta go pick up sometime this weekend of some more stuff that you'll pre be seeing on the channel um, in upcoming videos again as long as you hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on your notification bell you'll get to see those videos because uh, you can't ever count on YouTube suggesting them to you so here's the things you're going to need to do this um, obviously going to need a steak I didn't think that one looked terrible uh, it's not the best one I ever seen, but this is going to be our um, our uh, one we're going to cook tonight. We got some butter over here. We got two sticks. I don't know. We're going to need them all. Uh, salt, pepper, uh, but season this as you like. We're going to need some fresh thyme. Definitely need some fresh thyme. If you don't like the flavor of thyme, um, don't just leave it out. You're going to need a few tools. I have. Uh, are big you've, if you guys follow us um, you've seen us use this thing here right here for years and you're gonna need a heat source and today we're using a propane burner this is the Concord double burner propane stove there's also a, um, a video on our channel of uh, unboxing and assembling this they again they don't pay me a dime to talk about it and I have it started up, but on the very lowest setting, I can get it on. All right, well, let's jump right on into this video. The first thing we'll do is put that pan up there, and we're going to let that guy preheat just about five minutes all right and that'll help with the process also the other thing I did not mention earlier is we'll let that steak come up to room temperature so it's been a few minutes and at this point we're not looking to get that pan very hot we're going to throw in an entire stick of butter let that start melting down I 
just about time that butter melts, which is about a minute. I'm going to put some fresh thyme in there. These some pretty sad sprigs of thyme. I guess a lot of these herbs are grown out west and this time of year and we've had a drought, so availability of that. If you can't find the fresh, go ahead and use some dried thyme leaves at this time and we're going to let them poach in there a minute until you start smelling that time coming off that pan. Here's another good look at our bone-in ribeye. Alright, so just going to take it and uh, just use a ribeye, sweep that time over the side. Going to nestle it right in our cast iron pan if it's perfect. And we're going to keep our eye on it while it slowly, slowly cooks through all the way to the bone. Now we don't want it to be completely done but I know a lot of you guys don't like your steak raw like I do so here this is going to help to you to reach that medium temperature but we're going to do it very slowly and this thyme and butter is going to infuse itself right into the meat like how cool that stargazer handle stays. that guy over it didn't take long to get that thing up to 135 degrees internal so I'm going to go ahead and take it off right now put it over to the side let it rest okay so at this point I'm just going to go ahead and take what the butter I have and time and all that it's in this pan and I'm gonna pour it in a stainless steel bowl right over here on the side I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kick this flame up big time. Alright, I'm going to let that pan get hot. was smoking hot coming back in with our steak you might want to press it very gently just to make sure that all parts of it are in contact with that pan very gently Now what we're going to do is pour that butter and thyme 
right back over the top of it. That's gonna give it some awesomeness. I'm gonna see that this time, then a little black pepper. I wouldn't put any salt on it until after it's done. Well, it looks awesome, I can tell you that right now. And uh, the smell coming from that time is really prevalent. Let's go ahead and take a look. I think it may be a little overdone for me and maybe some of you other guys. Okay, that's probably a medium well to well. And that's due to the fact these steaks were pretty thin compared to the ones I normally get. Let's go in and take a taste. So let's go in for a bite. Yeah, it's a little more than where me and Mrs. Back was like it, but I know a lot of you guys like your uh, steaks a little well more well done than we do around here so this is a great technique let's see how much uh, flavor that butter and thyme imparted into this beautiful steak mm. going back for another and you want to buy that. I know you do. So thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. If you like what we're doing, please smash that like button right down there to subscribe to our channel for much, much more just like this. It's going to be right over there for a whole playlist. Cast Iron Dutch on the Cook is going to be right up there. And for whatever YouTube's going to suggest you, it's going to be right up there. We'll see you next time.